Hi everybody, this is City Readings and hi Aquarius. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you. In case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. It will be linked below. What do we have for... Oops. Willing release. Aquarius. Something you're letting go of. Or perhaps you do need to let go of. And a burst of magic. So number nine, four, and eight could be significant. That could be your birthday. Or number 48 and 49. Um, number 12, 13, number four, and number three, which is something I said before as well. So these numbers could be significant for you. We also have a powerful move. So what I see here for you, Aquarius, is that a lot of you have to release something. And once you do that, there's something beautiful showing up here for you in the energy with the burst of magic. So we will, of course, see what that is. Mm. Okay. Show me what's there for Aquarius. A new start is coming. I am picking up that, yes, there is somebody new showing up for you or some sort of a new beginning. I'm also seeing that endings are intensified at this time for you. Also something about shared resources those energies are very very intensified um that house is intense in itself but pluto being there is intensifying it even more and pluto is transformation and a change show me more for aquarius so we have it's time to release negativity it's time to let go of something aquarius it's time to release something. Okay. Let's have a look. Show me what's there for Aquarius. A win-win outcome is forecast. Okay. I'm seeing that there is something here going in your favor. But you see, you have the word release coming twice. You have willing release and then it's time to release negativity. Um, what is there that is negative around you? Is it people? Is it some sort of negative influence? Is it your own thoughts? Was, uh, sorry, what is it? Okay. What is it that you need to let go of? What is it that you need to release? We will see. What do we have for Aquarius, please? Emperor, taking back control. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. There is significant Aries placement here. Again, taking back control, working towards something, Aquarius. Some of you are also very focused on your money, your goals, and your business. Ace of Cups. A new start, a new beginning comes in. I feel like a lot of you have also been in this energy of self-love, trying to focus on yourself, trying to focus on 
you know, making things work in your life, okay? Um, Six of Pentacles, High Priestess. Some of you may be connecting with the Pisces. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Well, let's see what happened in the past for Aquarius. What happened in the past? <clears throat> Too many cards. Nine of Wands, Page of Wands, Six of Swords. So apparently there was something going on in the past here. Maybe communication. Things were escalating, but with the Six of Swords energy, it ended up moving in a different direction than you anticipated. Now, it could be Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, who you were interacting with. It does look like there was communication. I'm also getting a very aggressive energy here. Maybe somebody you dealt with was being, you know, really aggressive. I feel like there's somebody around you in your environment or like in your love situation. I don't know who exactly this person is, but I'm getting that there's somebody here who is very aggressive with their energy. Okay. Three of Swords, I ended up feeling heartbroken. <sighs> Something did fall apart, okay? Some of you also decided to leave the situation yourself because of how burdening, burdening it became. But what, whoever this person is, I don't know, is it a boss, a lover, a family member, your neighbor? Who is this person? Because I feel like this is somebody who constantly like puts pressure on you to do something and you ended up leaving with the three of swords energy oh my god some of you felt like this is a situation that is beyond fixing and you don't even want to sit there and fix it you see show me more please Two of Cups. So even though there's an ending in love here, Two of Cups, there's a union again showing up in the future. Ten of Cups, my God. I see a sign of progression here. And why do I say that? You're getting Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is where it starts. Two of Cups, it's kind of mutual. Ten of Cups, let's take it forward. I'm getting that a lot of you are manifesting a new person. And no doubt, even your oracle cards are suggesting there's something um, different, okay, showing up in the future for you. So Ten of Cups, Two of Cups, lovely energies in your love situation. Um, I don't feel like you're anticipating it, Aquarius, but it's showing up. It's showing up. <laughs> So let's have a look. What do we have for Aquarius, please? Show me the person coming towards Aquarius. What are they up to? Four of Wands. Hierophant. Listen up, Aquarius. This is straight up a relationship. You cannot tell me that this is not a relationship. King of Wands energy. King of Wands, Four of Wands, Hierophant. This is somebody who's serious about you. Hoping for commitment with you. Magician. Listen up. Listen up. <laughs> so it's good that you're ending something toxic in the past. Moving towards something new and beautiful. And of course, this person's not going to show up and be like, hey, let's be in a relationship. This is something that's going to grow with time. 
What is the outcome from the reading for Aquarius, please? I love it. <laughs> what is the outcome of the reading for Aquarius? Nine of Wands. There you are in your outcome. Okay, so I feel like your energy is a little bit tired and closed off. A lot of you do need to let go of drama. It just looks like there are people around you who have been dra very draining with the star card here. Time to connect back to your own self. Time to work on yourself. I like it that your reading started off with the Emperor. It's ending off in your own energy with the star. So as long as you're getting there. But at the same time... Uh, Nine of Cups. Again, Nine of Wands and Five of Wands is an energy of it's time to perhaps let go of a draining situation. Nine of Cups is okay. I am finding my happiness again. I am finding my balance again. What is the challenge and advice for Aquarius? Challenge, Eight of Wands, Advice, Queen of Cups. Lack of self-expression. I feel like a lot of you have a habit of bottling emotions and spirit is telling you to not do that. But at the same time, I feel like with the Eight of Wands energy and the Queen of Cups, you've been wanting something, but you've been suppressing it. Seven of Cups, listen up, okay? Listen up. Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups is like, okay, I went through something tough in love in the past, but I'm not going to really let it um affect me or i'm really not gonna let it be the reason why i'm closed off to love there may be somebody who's open to communicate with you but i don't feel like you are as open because you're healing and focusing on other things but it does look like there's a new lover showing up for you and of course i'm going to clarify more of this in the extended so do have a look it'll be linked below for you you're interested you mean a lot to them mm. perseverance somebody is not giving up on you okay they're showing perseverance they want you and they're coming after you okay this person's like, no, I don't want to let go of Aquarius. Self-indulgence and dating. So see, with the self-indulgence card, I see you focused on yourself. But again, this person, I, I don't feel like they're giving up on you. Okay. This person showing effort. Let's see what your oracle messages are saying. You, uh, sorry, yielding to a divine plan, releasing attachment to form, especially if something isn't what you expected or wanted, leaving room for surrendivity, willing release. Some days you have to let go of your struggle to find an answer and focus on other things for a while. This doesn't mean giving up altogether or losing anything. Remember that in our co-creative partnership with the divine give and take is necessary you do your part by setting your intentions and taking any necessary actions but you must then surrender the surrender the form the timing and the how to your higher power 
There is a divine plan for each of us. When acting on this faith, you may find that your intense desire for something translates into a feeling of attachment and entitlement. Right now, can you imagine yourself in, the, in this experience and allow the divine plan to unfold as it will on your behalf without interference? Can you be open to receiving what is yours, even if it is not uh, packaged in the form you thought you wanted? Perhaps if you look deeper, you will see that you've received the perfect vibrational match to your most authentic wants and needs. You have put in the work, defined your desires and felt them deeply and engaged your higher part. Now you must let go and see what transpires. This isn't always necessary. Impatience erodes the foundation of your trust in the divine. Surrendering truly will serve your highest good. Knowing this truth in your heart, can that really be so difficult? Okay, let's read for you Burst of Magic. An epiphany, a sudden higher knowing, a sense that everything has a purpose, your purpose as a gift bestowed upon you, cultivating conscious contact with a higher power, coming to know that, sorry, coming to know what calls to you and lights you up. Sometimes you may find that something you'd been pondering or a problem that you would you would let go of revisit revisit what revisits you without warning it may hit you while you're thinking about nothing or the trigger may just be the right words arising in a conversation book blog or anything else an epiphany strikes like a lightning bolt waking you up to the truth that has previously eluded you it is as if the whole world stops in that moment as you integrate the missing pieces of the puzzle you were meant to solve all along so be mindful today. When information pops out of the blue, pay attention. So you're being called to pay attention towards something. The action you need to take will become obvious as you integrate this magical wisdom. Regardless of the subject of your inquiry, you will be transformed and only good will come out of this. So that's about it. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and check out the reading about your person linked in the description box below. Take care and bye-bye.